okay, hello, and uh, yesterday on my full winter forecast, I um, told you guys I'd make this today, and uh, here I am making it. Um, here it says, VBNC Weather Presents, December Forecast 2013. Now, um, if you want to, I would recommend you watch my full winter forecast. Uh, I'll put that in the description, I'll put the link to that in the description. Um, now first, let's start off with uh, some temperature anomalies. Um, first off, uh, we've got uh, a temperature anomaly right here, and um, I really think that uh, for December, we're really going to start off with uh, some troughy weather most of the time in the east. Now, obviously, there's going to be some troughs in the west, but um, they'll eventually move into the east, and we're already uh, here in late November seeing that start to happen. You can see my uh, my anomaly years. Uh, my temperature anomaly year I chose for December was 1976, 1977, and 2010. Um, now most people will be like, oh, why didn't you pick 2009? Well, most people don't know this, but 2009 actually had a warmer than average um, east. Uh, and like as it got into the, uh, January and February, that's when we got the, you know, 2010, obviously, um, that's when we got the big, big snows for the east, and uh, obviously that can happen at any time. You can have a really warm December, and then boom, you know, January, February hit, and it's a huge winter for the east. Uh, me, here on the Mid-Atlantic, uh, it happens every couple of years where you'll get like a five inch to like, you know, two feet storm. It can, it can vary, really, but most of the time it's going to be on the lower side. Um, and with precipitation, I really think we're going to have a northwest, um, a really rainy in the mountains. We can have some snow also. In this area, it's going to be a little drier. Coastal, I don't even know if we'll have much precipitation at all, but I know that in the mountains, there is going to be some snow um, also. And here, don't really think it's going to be above average snow or precipitation. It's just, the, you know, with anomalies, it's hard to find exactly what you want. Um, also, I wanted it to be... Um, below average precipitation here, I just couldn't find any years. Uh, so it's really hard to get what you want, but yeah, here's my forecast maps, and this should describe to you better what I'm meaning. Uh, right here's temperature, they look a little tall, I tried to get them to fit in there well. Got cold in here, um, right here in the northwest, because the uh, ridge is going to go like this, but they're still going to be uh, above the jet stream, and then it comes down like this, Boop. you know. No warmer in this area, obviously. Um, less precipitation in this area. More precipitation in this area. Also more precipitation in this area, because I think that these are the two storm tracks that we could see, possibly. A couple clipper systems come up like this. Even um, come in like this, too. Uh, but I think we're probably going to get a couple Appalachian runners, which... Uh, this is like a mix of an Appalachian runner and a nor'easter. They're going to vary anywhere in here. I accidentally, I didn't mean to put it all the way over there. I meant to put it in here, I guess. I might have accidentally moved that, but yeah, sorry about that. Just imagine that line goes right up the Appalachian. But yeah. And uh, yeah, here's the most important part, my overall forecast. Now, this is what takes, this is obviously always the hardest because it has a lot of areas. So I'm just going to go over every single one. Right here in the northwest, I'll start, I'll work my way east. Uh, snowy in the mountains and rainy at ground level. Dry ground, dry at ground level, but snowy in the mountains. Hot and dry in this area, that's all I can describe it as. I don't know why I didn't connect it there, I just, I made it, it was perfect shape for what I wanted. I'm like, ah, oh, dang it, I didn't make it go up there, but, you know, who cares? It's hot and dry right here and right here. Warm and, but snowy in the mountains. So it's going to be warmer than average, but for these mountains over here, it's still going to be snowy no matter what. Freezing and some snow. Freezing being like it's going to be very, very cold. Basically, northern right here is basically probably going to be the coldest for December. Cold early, but turning warmer late. I think that really, the trough, uh, the, since it's going to be off and on trough and ridge each you know, way, this is, this is right here is going to be like where... It turns warm, then cold, then warm, then cold. Right here, Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, and Nebraska. Uh, hot and rainy, off and on cold right here. You see, I don't know, the trough could go like this. 
trough could go like this and be a really big trough for the uh, east. Um, that's why I think it's going to be off and on. But I think that really, uh, I think that we're going to have also a um, moderately cold January. Not as cold compared to average as December is, but then I think that February is going to play out to be a very, you know, frigid uh, February. So I think that January isn't the big month for snow. But I think February is going to be where, you know, where it's at. And that's with a lot of years. But mainly it's January, but sometimes it could be like that. Then we've got lots of rain and warm in these areas. Not much snow for these areas. Like, I think that, um, right, uh, right in here is, uh, whatchamacallit, whatchamacallit, Atlanta. Yeah, I always forget to, Atlanta. Right here will probably be lots of rain and warm, mostly rain. Atlanta's not the best place for snow. Um, as we come in here, colder than normal, snow and cold enough, like, so, there's going to be a couple situations where we could get some snow right here in the middle Atlantic, but a lot of times that's going to be rain, so it's just going to be an off and on thing, like, 50% of the storms will be, you know, all rain, and 50% of the storms will have some snow, and then there might be, like, one or two storms that actually have all the snow that comes through here, it, do, it just depends how cold it's going to be, and it's going to be colder than average as far as my forecast goes. Right up in really cold and snowy because that uh, storm track I had coming right through here is going to push its way up. And, you know, almost always the jet stream is going to be below that area in December. Uh, lake effect snow in this area. Lots of snow when cold enough in this area. Um, it's not going to necessarily be much colder than average in this area, but definitely when it's cold enough, it will be snowy. Um, but yeah, I like to put it in between the little space. Just so it saves me time, you know, so I can get more of these videos out for you guys, you know. I don't want to, like, take up all my time trying to be perfect. Um, so I just leave a little bit of space, and I hope you guys don't mind, like, right in here. It doesn't really matter, you know, you're either or hot and dry or hot and dry, you know. It's not that much of a decision. Um, right in here, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of like that, but yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. This has been my December forecast, and for now on, I'm going to do seasonal forecasts, and then once we're about to get into a month, I'm going to do a monthly forecast, so I get more videos out there for you guys to inform you on the latest information. Um, so, like, when it's December, you know, 20th to 30th, I don't, I think it's like goes to 30th to December 29th, whatever. Anywhere past the 20th of December is going to be where I'm going to be near the point of making my January forecast. Then at the end of February, I'm going to make my spring forecast and my, uh, well, in the beginning of February is when I'm going to make my first spring forecast because I'm going to make three of each um, season forecast. So that's how I'm going to kind of go. But I can talk about this on a live stream maybe uh, tonight or tomorrow uh, whenever I get the time to make one. Yeah, that's pretty much me announcing a live stream. So either tonight or tomorrow, I'm probably going to make a live stream. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.